Hello everyone, my name is Frank Apicella and today we're going to show you how to create a custom page template for WordPress. So I have this sponsors page here and what I basically need to do is uh, take the category of sponsors and there's a couple different categories I need to all list them on this page. So what we're going to do is I have another page that's similar I'm going to duplicate that because that takes the feed for the speakers. I'm going to rename it Sponsors. Now I'm in my theme directory right now. I have to rename the template. All right? I need to grab the, I need to go to the categories here and I need to see the, now if you look on the bottom left, that long string, it says category and tag underscore ID equals six that number six is the number for that particular category and unfortunately this is like one of the only ways to figure out that number is by highlighting over the edit key or just the name of the category and you can see and you can do this for any post any picture anything they all in the back end of WordPress have this specific number attached to it that you can use in the back end of WordPress so uh, the number we're going to start with is this one here, so four. So, as you can see right here, uh, you can look up and I'll provide the link to query posts. Uh, but I have this whole thing set up here, and uh, you can see that pulls in the content. Um, how do I have this here? Because that doesn't close. Oh, okay. That's interesting, and that still works. I might be doing this not the best practices way, but it works. So uh, the one tricky part is obviously the code. And usually, what you do is you if have post while post the post, and then you have the title, the content. We usually close that out, right? Which I'm actually going to do now because that's the best way to do that, right? We're going to close that. I'm going to reset the query and then what I just used there was a, a clip in Coda. You can uh, use certain phrases and connect them to strings of code. So you know I have a lot of them like title and then I press tab and it expands it so I have a lot of those things and then CQ for category query I press tab and it has the whole category query here. Oop where I'll show you um, basically this uh, query post and then so in category 5 if there's any post while well, I have the post pump out the, the content and then end and reset the query so I know that isn't the ideal way to keep resetting the query and keep querying posts because that's very uh, intensive on the server and the databases I know there's a better way but for now because this isn't a very high traffic site we have pretty robust servers and it's not like the end of the world um, this is the way I'm gonna do it so just keep that in mind what category did we have we had category 4 which we changed that to now I wanna see down here or uh, in the footer because that's where we have all the sponsors right now we have category four and I wanna kind of copy this because this is what's being pumped out at the bottom here now unless it's in sponsors which might be an issue too okay so what we'll do is we'll put um, okay so we'll make that sponsors and then we'll paste the same code there now I have it all styled already and everything that's why I'm doing this here so uh, let's do that and see what comes of the sponsor page. Oh no, and now we need to connect the page template to the actual page itself. So let's go to the sponsors page. We'll select the sponsor page template which will now show up because we changed the name up here, made a new page and then saved it. Once you do that you can refresh this page if you're already on it and the template will show up there. And then you select it and don't forget to hit update and then we can go back here and refresh it and it'll show the sponsors but the one thing we don't want is that background here so let's see 
where exactly that's coming from. I think that's coming from the sponsors. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. So we're going to make another footer that doesn't have the sponsors in it. I'm going to duplicate that, rename it, footer, no sponsor, right? And then we're going to take this one, we're going to remove that whole sponsor thing, we'll save that, and then on the sponsors page, when we pull in the footer, we're going to put in parentheses here, no sponsor. Now what that does is take the footer.php is fine, but if you ever put a dash and then no sponsor or whatever you want to make that, and then where you get the footer, you put that word in there, it'll pull in that other one. So now if we go here, we can refresh, and as you can see, the sponsors is gone. Uh, there maybe needs a little space here. We'll figure that out in a minute. But right now, what we want to do is we want to... Uh, oh, we get rid of that. Oh no, actually we want that back because what we want to do is put some space here for now. Let's see if that's just just something for now. Okay, yeah, just give a little space there. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And then in here, we want to go to our style and then sponsors. Now which page is this? We want to find out the page ID. The page ID is 72. So page ID 72, right? Page ID 72, sponsors. We want the background to be white and the border top to be none, or just background none too. Okay, let's refresh. And as you can see, it's all coming together but I think there's also padding up here which we don't want either yeah the sponsors as you can see there's there's this huge padding yeah we don't want any of that so actually we just instead of doing all this I just think that we don't need the sponsors around it or we'll just put if we wanted to target later, we'll just put sponsors to or sponsors page, whatever. So now we don't have to worry about that. We got the space here. This site now still needs to be finished. Obviously, you can see the social media down there. There's some things that need to be done, but we just successfully made a page template. Uh, but another thing now is we this is we only did one category. Now we want another category. So what we're going to do is copy and paste all of this. No, we don't want to clear it. We just want to, because we want to continue on with it. And we'll put a nice space in between these so we can recognize. And then we'll look at the categories again, the ones that we need. And we can see that this is six and the strategic alliances is five so uh, I think the media sponsors no the media sponsors goes last so we'll do five and then six we'll save that we'll come back in here and as you can see oh but they're all sponsor now because we have five we'll do me uh, strategic alliance and media sponsor We'll come back in, and you can see now that they're tagged correctly. And as we shrink the page, they will line up right. I have pretty low resolution right now, that's why you know. And then as you as the page expands, these will uh, stretch across as well with the proper padding. So I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.